I, I was fortunate whenever I played on a team, there was usually, you know, guys, there was more than one tough guy on a team. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it, you just don't know how the game's going to go, right? So uh, Whoever you line up against is whoever you fucking line up against. Exactly. Right? And if they give you the tap. Then yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. You just got to answer the bell. So, but a lot of guys, when I was playing Bob Prober, a lot of guys wanted to go Bob Prober because he's a measuring stick, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bob <laughs> Prober's the greatest enforcer of all time. Was That's he right. like, listen, fight the kid. That's right, yeah. <laughs> and they would rather go after a guy like Bob Prober and course. lose than I go after a guy like me and lose. You know, yeah, yeah, right. it, it changes the dynamic. That's You're right. supposed to lose against fucking Prober. You lose against you. It might then they look last bad. fucking game. That's right, right. exactly. It's so such an interesting... There's no pressure. I didn't put any pressure on myself. I went out there and did my best, but I lost. Oh, I showed up at least. You know, if I if I won or tied against guys that are bigger than me, well, I looked like a hero. Right. So I how, got it. How sweet is it though when you get a front row ticket to every Bob Probert fight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. It was it was amazing how many guys went after him. And didn't you know they they just yeah. bypassed me and wanted to go right after him. Right. But, you know why wouldn't you? You're a rookie in the league. You want to go after the best, right? Right. So, right. Make a name. Yeah, for sure. 